going on guys? Hi huh, y'all got a sake and soda review today but before we get into the video if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel you like what you see you want to see more hit the subscribe button that bell for notifications of new videos let's get into the beer sake soda sorry you used to say beer so 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 is the company's name it is sake and soda man it's 97 calories 5.8 percent abv and they have i believe three maybe four different flavors i forget you gotta go check out my unboxing video man so 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 reached out and they wanted to send me samples of their new product it is sake and soda there's nothing on the market like it i don't believe so i mean i searched but i didn't find anything and also i've never heard of sake and soda before i i believe this is supposed to be an alternative alternative to beer and seltzer water man and it has 5.8 percent abv which is i feel like higher than your typical seltzer and it's also 97 calories it comes in this cute little tiny can man the size of a red bull can i believe and 97 calories i believe that is two maybe three calories less than a corona light and yes i do drink corona light so check out this can artwork and it is holographic like a pokemon card so this flavor is sakura it is cherries and then they also have yuzu which is lemon essentially i think japanese lemon and um there's an apple one i forget i think it's fiji apple or yeah fiji apple or something like that uh you again you'll have to go watch my unboxing video man i i, I did unboxing it's great uh, the packaging super cool very very cool anyways man Here's the little note they have on the back. They have a note on every flavor that they have there. And then there's a nutritional fact. Check that out. And this is gluten-free, vegan, and uh, sulfite-free. And sulfite apparently is the um, additive or a part of drinks that gives you hangovers. So this is sulfite-free. So technically, or supposedly, you're not supposed to get a hangover. You drink too many of these. Um, but the ingredients, very, very simple, man. Carbonated water, Junmai sake, uh, citric acid, and natural flavors. So, And I talk a little bit about where they source their sake from, the flavorings, things like that. Anyways, man, go check out that video in, the, uh, in my playlist. So, let's get a pour on this, man. I'm not used to holding, you know, pouring stuff out of a can this small. Uh, it just feels weird, but... So it pours just like seltzer water, man. Very, very clear. Effervescent, of course. Um, it's like a Sprite, but maybe less effervescent. Sprite is ridiculously bubbly. So, of course, there's a lot of bubbles there. No head to speak of. So it'll speed up the video a little bit, but a lot of carbonation bubbles, man, as expected because it's sake and soda, right? Um, I have had one of these before, uh, before I started making videos. I don't quite remember. I just remember it was different and I enjoyed it so color clear water man it's just like seltzer water club soda you know just water carbonated water let's get the aroma oh yeah the aroma you de you get definitely rice in there so you ever had um, there's this dessert it's uh, I forget it's like not vinegar it's like wine rice I don't know it's it's a Chinese maybe Vietnamese maybe both dessert it's like wine rice it's literally rice balls soaked in wine um, I think it's fermented slightly as well you can find it at Asian grocery stores I enjoy that it, it's it's a flavor and a dessert you need to develop your palate to I don't think a lot of people or not very many people like it at least not off the bat it's something you kind of just got developed to um, but it smells like that to me. It smells like this nice, sweet, but obviously wine-infused rice aroma. I'm getting a faint cherry aroma too. I'm, like I'm pretty sure this is cherry flavor, right? Yeah, it's a faint cherry aroma to it. It's I want to say kids' cough syrup, but better. It smells better than that. It doesn't smell very medicinal, just like that. But there's a hint of child uh, cough syrup that's cherry flavored. Maybe slight vanilla too, honestly. I, I didn't expect that out of this, but maybe slight vanilla, like very nice, luxurious vanilla too, not just, you know, your run-the-mill vanilla. It smells weird, but it smells silky, velvety. 
I don't know how I'm picking up that aroma, but it just gives me that impression that silky, velvety, quality vanilla. I gave it a couple swirls there and the cherry definitely comes through more. Anyways, man, let's get into the flavors. Cheers, sniffing it too much. Yeah, there's definitely flavor to it. I wouldn't say it's bursting with flavor, but it's more flavor than a White Claw. I'll put it that way. I've had White Claws multiple flavors. I think the grapefruit is my favorite, I believe. And just because that has like the most flavor in my opinion, but this has slightly more flavor than that. So if you're if you're watching your calories, you know, all of that, and but you don't want to drink something that's alcoholic, that has basically no flavor, like a La but alcoholic, I think this is it, man. It actually has flavor. It has that rice wine flavor to it, but also whatever flavor they use, it's light, but there is that flavor. I do get cherries. It is not overwhelming. It's not super artificial. Uh, it doesn't taste artificial at all, honestly, though it doesn't taste, it's in between artificial and I would say the real fruit juice, right? Um, but the but the sake and the flavoring of the natural flavoring that they have in whatever flavor you're drinking, it's a well-balanced drink. It's not overly sweet at all. Like it is not overly sweet at all. If anything, I would say it's under sweetened, but I feel like that has something to do with, you know, not giving you hangovers because sweet drinks, they, I mean, sweet drink cocktails, they just give you a hangover. Just, that's just how things work, man. Um, at least for me and a few others I've talked to, I think just a sweet drink, sweet cocktails, they get you, man. This is not overly sweet at all. Carbonated, but not super carbonated. Slightly more carbonated than beer, but just a little bit. And I, that's understandable because it is seltzer water um, or soda water. So I get that. Um, yeah, just the flavoring. I, there's. I'm not getting the vanilla, but that cherry, you, you get that cherry and you, yeah, there's nothing hiding it because it's, there's no other adjuncts. It's just soda, sake, flavoring. That's literally it. You get rice wine uh, flavoring and whatever natural flavoring that they put in the can. It's just a very enjoyable experience, man. And 97 calories, 5.8% ABV. I mean, I, I get it. It's an 8.4 fluid ounce can. It's a smaller can. But it's 5.8% ABV, man. That's that's huge. That's like that's huge out of a little tiny can. That's huge. Uh, anyways, my camera's dying, but I feel like you guys get the idea that excuse me uh, that you know this is definitely worth trying, man. Um, so so Saki, thank you, thanks again for reaching out, sending me your samples. Uh, if you had it, I would have not known Saki and Soda is a thing. I believe you guys are the only ones doing it. They probably are. So go check them out, man. So So Saki. Uh, they have an Instagram and all of that, and website. I'll put it in the description below. Anyways, man, So So Saki with the uh, cherry flavor. Saki and Soda. If you guys like the video, thumbs up, comments, questions, leave below. And as always, dream your dreams of leave all things possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.